Hi everyone, it's Joanne Gabriel and I'm back with another prophetic word from the Lord. Now the Lord has so many things on his heart and on his mind in these last days. So this message is for the entire body of Christ. I received it on September 5th, 2024. And the title of this prophetic word is God's favorite. Now, if you're a part of this ministry, we've been studying the book of Daniel, right? And the Holy Spirit actually led me back to Daniel chapter 2 to revisit the interpretation of iron and clay. So as I reread Daniel chapter 2, the Holy Spirit gave me a whole new fresh revelation on the meaning behind iron and clay, which led me to Job chapters 33 and 34. So as I was studying Job chapters 33 and 34 and connecting it back to Daniel chapter 2, that's when the Holy Spirit gave me this fresh revelation of the meaning behind iron and clay so the holy spirit revealed to me that the clay is us humans because we know in genesis chapter 2 verse 7 right that the lord made us from the dust of the ground so we are the clay but the iron represents pride the lord is saying many of his children are bound by the shackles of pride and we know that shackles are made out of iron so i got this revelation as i was studying job's chapters 33 and 34 but as I was reading Job chapter 34, the Holy Spirit highlighted this specific verse. It's verse 11, which says, The Lord repays everyone for what they have done. He brings on them what their conduct deserves. So as I read the scripture, the Holy Spirit led me to Romans chapter 2 verse 11. And we all know this scripture where it says, God is no respecter of persons. But in the NIV translation, it actually means, For God does not show favoritism. So the Lord has sent me with this message to let the body of Christ know that God does not have any favorites. And in this hour of judgment, he's not showing any type of favoritism. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're an apostle, prophet, pastor, evangelist, or if you're a babe in Christ, God is saying everybody will be judged and he will bring onto us what we deserve based on our behavior. And again, Romans chapter 2 verse 11 says that God is no respecter of persons. In other words, God is no respecter of clay. All of us here on this earth, every human being is clay before the Lord, okay? So God doesn't care about the titles, the followers, the influence. He's looking at our hearts and our behavior in this hour. And the Holy Spirit wants me to read Job chapter 34 verses 18 through 20. And it reads, is he not the one who says to kings, you are worthless, and to nobles, you are wicked, who shows no partiality to princes and does not favor the rich over the poor? For they are all the work of his hands. They die in an instant in the middle of the night. The people are shaken and they pass away. The mighty are removed without human hand. So as I was reading those verses, the Lord spoke to me and said, Many influencers and leaders in the body of Christ will be removed by my hand. Many will pass away, and this will shake the heart of idolaters to their core. Now, after the Lord gave me this word, right, he dropped in my spirit the name of a very popular Christian influencer that was here on TikTok. Unfortunately, he just passed away, right? And I saw so many TikToks of people saying, you know, rest in peace, God is pleased with him, he's in heaven now, X, Y, Z, right? The interesting thing is, when I saw all of these TikToks on my timeline, my spirit wasn't at peace. My spirit wasn't at peace, right? Because his passing was so sudden, it was out of nowhere, right? And considering the hour of judgment that we're in, I just had a feeling that his passing away was some form of judgment, and now the Holy Spirit has confirmed it, okay? So unfortunately, the passing of this young man was judgment from God. And this is what the Holy Spirit was saying. Many Christian influencers and leaders in the body of Christ will be removed. And why is the Lord removing them? Because of pride. They're bound by the shackle, by the iron of pride. Now, when the Holy Spirit confirmed this to me, he led me back to Daniel chapter 2, right? And we understand that in Nebuchadnezzar's dream, the feet of the statue was made up of iron and clay. And this is when the Lord told me, my eyes are on the feet of my clay. I see everything done in darkness and in light. On the day of judgment, there will be no time for explanations or justifications. I have seen it all. And when I read Job chapter 34, verse 24, the Lord told me that the shifting of power will continue. The Lord says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. He will continue to resist the proud and exalt the humble in this hour. So the Lord says, for those that continue in pride 
and harden their hearts to repentance. I will remove and set up others in their place. This will take place for everyone to see. And he went on to say, I have no favorites. Everyone will be tested and I'll repay everyone for what they have done. There will be a divide between the proud and the humble. No longer will there be a mixture amongst my body any more than iron mixes with clay. So then the Lord revealed to me three big divides that are coming in this hour. Okay, so there's going to be three divides, one in the body of Christ, one that's going to be worldwide and another one in the political arena here in the U.S., Now, the first divide is going to be within the body of Christ. It's going to be between the proud and the humble. The second divide is going to be worldwide. We're going to see a divide between the pride lifestyle, if you get what I mean, and those that are following God's original design, okay, for a man and a woman. The third divide is going to be between the iron fist and the clay fist. So this last divide between the fist of clay and the fist of iron is actually referring to American politics, okay? So Trump is actually the fist of iron and Kamala is the fist of clay. And why does this make sense? The Holy Spirit revealed to me that Trump is the fist of iron because Trump is very stubborn. He will put his fist down no matter who's up against him. He doesn't really care what people think about him and this makes him the iron fist. But on the other hand, right, Kamala caters to the clay. She caters to the people of this world, right? So this is why she's the fist of clay because her whole campaign is centered around color, and race and gender and all these things that are in the flesh that God really doesn't care about, right? So this is why Kamala Harris is the fist of clay. And the Lord is saying we're going to see a big divide between people that are siding with the fist of clay and those siding with the fist of iron, right? And I truly believe, right? I truly believe that this is a sign of the times and we're going to start seeing escalations of war here in the U.S. We're going to start seeing signs of a civil war. So guys, this is the word of the Lord. Again, the title of this prophecy was called God's Favorite, where the Lord was letting us know that he does not have any favorites in this hour especially, okay? So we all need to repent. If you're somebody that's been operating in pride, it's time to, you know, go back to the altar and repent, okay? The Lord is saying that there won't be time on judgment day to justify yourself and explain why you did things. He has seen it all and he's casting his judgments. The Lord is also saying, The shifting of power will continue and we're going to start seeing divides within the body, divides worldwide and divides in the political arena here in the U.S. So I just pray that you guys would take heed to these prophetic words, you know, repent, guys, turn back to the heart of God. All of the titles, all of the platforms, all the followers mean nothing. It's all vanity. All that matters is hearing, well done, my good and faithful servant on judgment day. So I love you guys, you know, repent and seek Jesus.